Good day class and welcome back to your online class. I'm your teacher for Cookery in C2, Mr. Malang Bernabe. Would like to welcome you for another set for video lesson that we are going to tackle. For today's video lesson class, we are going to land now to the kitchen laboratory. We are going to prepare our project one. Take note that in Cookery in C2 class, all demonstrable laboratories in Kokiri in Seto class was divided into three. So, was clustered into three. So, the first one we have the so called Project One. The Project One that includes the presentation of soup, protein or main dish, the starch dishes, and the vegetable dishes. So, four. The so called S. PBS or the soup, protein, starch, or vegetable. So this is under project one. So for project two, we have the so called cash. We have the canopy, appetizer, salad, and sandwich. And then for project three, we have the hot and cold desserts. So this is all comprises under cookery and C2. So your first demonstration in your house or in your first virtual demonstration straight from the comfort of your kitchen, we're going to prepare your project one. So how? How to prepare the project one? What is the proper presentation? what is the proper plating, and the spill on how you're going to present your final product to your assessor. So this is what we're going through for this video lesson. First, the project one. So class, for project one, this composed of soup, your protein, vegetable, and starch. So we're going to discuss what are those kinds of soup that can be presented during your assessment. So for soup class, we have three kinds of soup. The first one, we have the clear soup or the so-called consumi. And the second one is the creamy soup. And the third one is the thick soup. So these three kinds of soup can be chosen to present during your assessment. So for soup, you are going to prepare at least 250 ml in a bowl with underliner. So only 250 ml, that is good for one serving. So that is for the soup. And for the protein class, so protein or the main dish, we have the different kinds of protein that is available in the market. On what is available to your area, you can have this red meat and we can have this white meat and we can have this seafood. So example for red meat call are the pork, the beef, the lamb, the veal, and we have the belly. So these are kinds of red meats. So you can choose one of these. You can have uh, pork chop, you can have pork uh, steak or grilled pork. Then for beef, you can have big steak, grilled big steak, uh, rare or medium rare or well done. And for the seafoods, you can have fish. fish uh, you can have squid or any kinds of, of seafoods that is available to you. So for protein class, requirement only for during your assessment is to have at least 180 to 200 grams of meat. So if you are going to choose pork chop, at least one slice of pork chop or breaded pork that is being fried, that would be enough. So 200 grams for the meat and 40 grams for the sauce. So total grams required for protein is 240 grams. Again, that is 200 for the meat and 40 
grams for the sauce. So that is under main dish or our protein. For starch dishes class, we have a lot of choices. So for the starch dishes, we can use the rice, but please do not serve plain rice or cooked rice during your assessment. It should be made into risotto. Risotto means uh, from ordinary rice that has been mixed with some spices and ingredients, vegetable or meat, and that is being cooked again and turned into something new product. So that becomes a risotto. So risotto does a lot of example. We can have the garlic rice. We can have this java rice. We have this red rice. And we have this chow pine. And we can have this so-called mashed potato. And we could have this Shanghai rice. So all of these are came from rice. So for starch dishes, we can also use pasta. So pasta, we can have used this spaghetti noodles. We can have carbonara. Uh, we can have lasagna. And we also have the so-called sutanghon, bihon. So if you are going to cook that into one recipe, you can have that final output that is good, for example, for pasta. So you can choose only one of these recipes available. It's either of this. It's either uh, pasta noodles for spaghetti or carbonara. Or you can have this sotanghon. You can have this canton. You can have this bihon. And any form of pasta. You can have this pitotini. Or we can have this elbow macaroni. You can use that as a starch dishes. So there's a lot of recipe that has been made for that pasta alone that you can be presented to your project one. So requirements for starch dishes in presentation of your project one that needs only at least 80 to 100 grams. So one serving alone is good for one plating. So one serving is plated then present as your starch dishes and for the vegetable class we can choose between non-leafy vegetable and leafy vegetable so what i mean is any recipe that is uh cooked beyond grilling this can be like grilled asparagus or you can have fried saute saute um vegetable they can be mixed with leafy or non-leafy vegetable or you can use sauteed product for leafy alone that can be okay so for vegetable class we need only at least 100 grams for presentation so after all cooking this one and you're ready to present please use a clean and plain white plate uh, dinner plate you can be then position the three in a proper plating this is the example of proper plating the proper positioning of your cook product for your meat for your vegetable and for your starch so in a clock like a clock you can have this 12 o'clock here 6 o'clock here 3 o'clock here and we have uh, 9 o'clock here so the position of meat should be in between the 9 and 12 then the position of your of your vegetable between 12 and 3 then the 6 and 9 is the position of your protein so follow the standard plating procedure that is to be prepared during your assessment so on the upper right side of the plate you should have the soup with underliner so that is how you're going to present your project one so in presenting your project one like this in a plate you put your meat or your main dish after putting your main dish you put on the other side the vegetable dishes and the other side on the upper side is your starch dishes 
So once completed, you put some garnish to make your dish palatable. Any form of, of garnish. You can have parsley, uh, leaves, or you can have the spring onions that cut into and design into leaf and flower like tomato peel uh, you are going to peel the tomato then you are going to twist like a bunch of flour you can put there on the center of the rice and the meat or the vegetable which is good uh, and palatable to the eye so that makes you uh, appre appreciate it during your assessment I know your assessor will appreciate if you're going to to do that the proper garnishing of your final product and you put your soup here remember in project one that the soup only needs at least 250 ml on this side then the meat should be 200 grams whatever the process of cooking it could be grill you can have steam or you can have a simmering that would be fine any forms of a method of cooking can be used for the main dish or for the protein so the protein needs only at least 200 grams plus 40 grams of your sauce the sauce can be separated or the sauce can be uh, drizzled over the meat and for the vegetable we can have at least 100 grams uh, presentation it is a, it's either um, Boil, it's an either saute or it is grilled. Any cooking method can be used for for but please do not use vegetable that is made from uh, boiled with plenty of water. No, only sauce can be so sauteed vegetable with with oyster sauce. This can be. Then for the starch. Choose your bet. If you are going to use rice, you have a lot of choices. You have Java red rice, Shanghai rice, Shao Pan, and garlic rice. Sometimes meat and vegetable rice can be used. And for pasta, you can have the carbonara, and you can have that uh, spaghetti, or you can have that macaroni, elbow macaroni, or fettuccine. Or the last, the last choice. If you have a lot of potatoes in your house. You cook that, you boil that, then after boiling, you must mash the potato and then mix with some ingredients, butter or some spices, some seasoning, and then pour it into a one cup, then put it on the other side of the, of the starch dishes. So that can be presented. Again, for starch dishes, you need only 80 to 100 grams. So all in all class, you have completed the project one. So that is now ready for presentation. So you have there the project one, the soup, the protein, the vegetable, and the starch. So if you're going to face your assessor and you're being called to present your final product, this is how you're going to do it. So this is the spin of example on how to present your project one. Since you are working, you are having your laboratory straight from your house, so you're going to use this spill. Hi sir, good afternoon. I'm Mr. Bernabe Malang, presenting to you my final output for Project 1 straight from the comfort of my kitchen laboratory. For Project 1, I have here the soup, which is the creamy soup, chicken macaroni creamy soup. And for the main dish, I have grilled pork chop with Thousand Island sauce. And for the vegetable, I have suited uh, cabbage or salted pichai then for the starch I have here uh, carbonara that is made special with mozzarella cheese on top and I thank you you can also mention class the method of cooking that you use in presenting like for example if you are going to mention the soup for your creamy chicken macaroni soup, I use this cooking method, moist heat method. Because moist heat method does involve any form of liquid. And then for the meat dish, I use dry heat method. And in frying or grilling your 
pork chop. And then for the vegetable, I use moist heat method. The cooking procedure is sauteed. And then for the starch, I use boiled method. And, and that's all. Thank you. So you're going to say thank you to your assessor. So after presenting your project one, you're now ready to present your project two. And then the project two class will be presented to you on my next video. So I hope you have learned something new today. So this video will serve you as a guide on how you're going to present your project one. Taking video, but of please your do not forget one class. presentation in your virtual laboratory straight from your house. Please do not forget to capture all the ingredients first during your lesson plan and including your lesson scene. So before submitting it to me, you can have please edit that if you are going to use the background music please lower down the music volume so i can hear your voice so in presenting your video that's include the preparation of the vegetable and meat from your mesen pla and your mesen scene of your equipment and please include also in taking video during your cooking this might be the other one who are cook then you're just presented the product so that would be an uh, invalid so it should be the one who going to present the product should be the one who going to cook so all the procedure must be mentioned you mentioned the first step second step third step until the product is being cooked and then for plating procedure you should also mention the way that I mentioned in the previous video all right so I hope this will serve you as a guide and I would like to thank you for staying with me. Thank you for always watching our video lesson, especially in your cookery and preparation in your first laboratory, which is the laboratory for project one. So for your assignment class, please do not forget to comment down your answer for this question. What are the kinds of red meats? So, give me an example of red meats that is available in your area. At least four red meats. So, comment down below your answer. And please do not forget to leave a message together with your name, of course, your answer, and your section. And do not forget to like our video. And of course, do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel presentation.techbook.tv and please hit the notification bell for you to be updated in every time that I'm going to upload a new video for your subject. So this has been your teacher, Mr. Malang Bernabe. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for having your time with me and I hope to see you soon. So stay safe and I'm going to wait your video. Thank you and Mr. Malang Bernabe is now signing off. Thank you for watching.